Today, we are going to talk about the different signal types. Signals come in many different forms. Those forms can depend on the data that's being communicated, 0 or 1 or 0 0.1. The type of measuring devices is being used, like analog sensors or digital sensors. Or the limitations of the hardware, thus the connection will be two wires or three wires. We will focus on some of the more common signal types, more specifically, analog versus digital. Digital signals are represented in either a true or false. There is no between with digital signals. An example of this might be a light switch. A light switch is either on or off. Other example of this might be a motor that's running or not running. Signals can be generated with both AC circuit and the DC circuit with varying voltages, currents, and resistance. Some practical examples of using digital signals in an industrial environment might be if a pump is running or not running, or a valve that's either open or closed. Now let's move to analog signals. Analog signals carry information a little differently, in the form of a range. We might still see zeros and ones. We also might see something in between, like 0 0.5 or 0 0.2 or 0 0.1. When we think about the light switch being on or off as a digital signal, you could think of an analog signal as a dimmer switch. It can be on or off, but we can also be somewhere in between. So the question of the day, have you used anything with a range in your daily life? Shh, let me know in the comments. Now let's look at some examples where we might use analog signals in industrial applications. For example, we might want to measure the level of a tank whether it's empty, or somewhere in between, or full. Or we may need to monitor the flow in a pipe, and how fast is that water moving. Analog signals can take many different forms. Some of the more common are 4 to 20 mA signal, or a 0 to 5, or a 0 to 10 volt signal. Due to interference and the noise, which can affect significantly long runs of wire. We want to make sure with analog signals that we use a twisted and shielded pair. This will help us reduce the interference and the noise with analog signals. The 4 to 20 mA current signal offers some real world advantages, such as a no signal fault can easily be detected. 0 mA indicates no signal, while 4 mA indicates a zero value. An instrument can be loop powered often with 24 voltage DC, so it can be powered by the same cable that an instrument transmits on, meaning only two wires are required, and it's much less prone to electrical noise, interference, and voltage drop. Before we continue, if you love this video, give it a like and we make informative videos about automation, so if you are new here, consider subscribing. A 0 to 10 volt or 0 to 5 volt analog signal has some disadvantages, including a sense of signal fault cannot be detected. A value of zero volt can indicate either zero value or no signal. Over longer cable distances, voltage drop can cause an inaccurate signal, and it's prone to electrical noise and the interference. A separate power supply to the instrument is usually required, meaning the sensor requires at least three wires. That's it. Thank you so much for your valuable time. Cheers.